my back. Hell no. I'll carry you. Come on. I would rather die. Get on my back. Yes. Nope. I'm going to die. Let me go. <laughs> Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. You know, the first one that came out of 95 still holds a special place in my heart. So how did this one turn out? Well, let's get into it. My name is Brennan Kidebri, and this is just my opinion. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Jumanji. Welcome to the jungle. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into that review, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also click the little bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have Jumanji. Welcome to the jungle. I remember when I first heard the news that this was coming out, I was a little disappointed because I was like, no. I do not want a remake or a reboot of Jumanji. I still love the first film. It has Robin Williams in it, and he's not here anymore. So, I mean, that's just too close to home for me. No, leave it alone. Leave it alone. But when the first trailer came out, I was actually had to be honest with myself. And I was like, okay, the trailer looked pretty good. It looked pretty funny. But I was still just kind of like, huh, I don't know, because I didn't want to see a reboot. So when I went to finally see the film, I was surprised that this is not a reboot. This is not a remake. This is actually a sequel and that makes me very happy of course now this movie is being directed by jake kasdan um if you don't know his work he directed orange county uh which i saw in high school sex tape and also bad teacher i really did enjoy orange county i really love sex tape that was hilarious and bad teacher was just okay to me i know a lot of people like that movie but we'll kind of see what he'll do with part two because it's announced that part two of uh bad teachers coming out and um, this stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, and also Karen Gillan. We know who Jack Black is. We know who Kevin Hart is, Dwayne Johnson. Karen Gillan is kind of new to me. She popped up on the scene as Nebula in the Guardian of the Galaxy series, so I'm not too familiar with her work. And actually, this makes the second film to where Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson team up because they did a few years ago in that movie, Central Intelligence. And that was a pretty funny movie to me. Kevin Hart was a jock in high school, and uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was kind of a over the weight uh, guy and got made fun of but when they got older the roles kind of switched and they teamed up and it was kind of an entertaining movie but let's get back to Jumanji Into the Jungle but yeah um, I love the first film I can still watch today and have a great time and I was happy that this is a uh, sequel and like under the first film it was a board game and now this is a video game now I'm not too much of a gamer myself today these days I just really don't have the time I wish I did but I do like I do remember a lot about video games and I will say that this film knocked it out of the park as far as the video game element I really do uh, I really did appreciate that it kind of took me back to my childhood to be honest with you it also took me back to my childhood as far as high school because this has to do with four teenagers in high school that get sent to detention and while they're in detention they become they find this video game console and they get sucked in but you know the adventure just doesn't start for jumanji when they go into the game it start really starts in high school because you get to see these four characters spencer uh fridge bethany and martha spencer is the person playing Dwayne the rock johnson fridge Kevin Hart, uh, Bethany Jack Black, and then Martha Karen Gillan. You, I mean, you get you know the uh, typical jock. You get the you know the nerd. You get the pretty girl or whatever with all those stereotypes, makeup, and likes boys, and everybody chases her, and she thinks she's the princess. And then you also kind of have the introvert vert loner over here and we all know people growing up like that and i think they really the film did a really great job i think jake jake kasdan and chris mckenna the writers and eric summers did a great job writing and directing this high school element before it gets to the jumanji so i was loving that already in high school and then when we actually get to the game jumanji i like how they were sucked into the game and like that's where the real adventure starts and it was just a lot of fun it was a true adventure and just kind of seeing how all these characters are working together with the rock kevin hart jack black and karen gillam or whatever they really did make a great team didn't waste any time and you know they had a real true camaraderie you know together or whatever that made the film that much more entertaining but since they're in a video game and i know video games i mean they did a great job there because it actually felt like a real a uh, role-playing game i mean there was actually a scene to where one character came up you know introducing hey welcome to jumanji and he would repeat himself like a recording 
scene. And, you know, it was based on what the characters would do, would determine, you know, what that avatar in the game would say next to give them clues or whatever. And I really do like that. And there was also kind of some self-aware uh, practical jokes as well, because this movie is freaking hilarious. That is the best thing about this Jumanji movie. But it was like Kevin Hart was like, OK, wait a minute. I mean, we got to go over there to save the day. Can you not just give us a ride in the Jeep or whatever? And I kind of found that funny or whatever, because that makes sense. That's logical. That makes practical sense. So those little touches right there of reality that that threw in just kind of made me enjoy the film, you know, that much more. But what I really did like about the characters, all of them that are four that I just listed is they're playing two characters in this movie. They're kind of playing themselves, but they're also playing their high school counterparts or whatever, kind of bouncing back and forth. And the trophy in that movie, I got a little trophy here. You know, this goes to Jack Black because he was uh, he was the funniest to me because he was being himself Jack Black or his name. And this was Bethany, the pretty girl in this. But he was also playing her just like, oh, my God, where's my phone? Like, um, I have never been anywhere without my phone this long. And this just seems like a time to make a selfie or whatever. And that was funny. I was laughing and they had this penis joke in the movie, too. That was just laugh out loud, just hysterical. And, you know, I was laughing. Everybody in the theater was laughing. I mean, it just it was just a funny movie just straight up or whatever i mean if, there, if you're not laughing in this movie there's something wrong with you well i'll take that back i'm joking because you know all films are subjective and what i consider funny you may not consider funny but i seriously doubt how anybody cannot you know see you know how this movie is funny and there's also a level of stakes in this movie that i appreciated as well because in these role-playing games and like real quick especially like something like laura croft or something to where uh karen gillen's outfit uh, was modeled after she made a joke you know like a little inside joke talking about how impractical it was for her to dress like this in this game in this movie and they addressed that but also like you know they and they based her outfit off of Laura Croft um, a, a character that came from the PlayStation world and in that game you know characters have like life bars or really any game characters have life bars to where when you're going through you can die a certain amount of times and if you die too much and you know, all your life bars goes away the game is over and then you have to start over but the way they perceived it in this movie to where if all your life bars goes away then you know you're gonna die so I was kind of saying to myself like, like wow that just kind of adds more stakes you know to the fire or whatever so I mean they really got to work together and you know team up or whatever because if they die like i was worried or whatever i was like man i don't want them to die because i was really loving all these characters and so it's funny and i love the video game element to everything as well they even had like a little cut scene so where in some games there's like a cut scene and you get like a little movie story little thing or whatever but at the same time the reason why i loved all the characters is because there's a great amount of character development i mean there was just one a few scenes to where the the adventure will stop and the characters would have a few lines of dialogue and they was getting to know each other and kind of picking at each other just to kind of see how each of them ticked. And I love that, too. And then we also got a bit of action in this. And, you know, the action was great. You know, missiles and bullets flying everywhere. You know, we got to see this character kicking this person and flipping. And every character kind of had, you know, like strengths and weaknesses and things like that. And the way they just incorporated all this into this film was just great. And, you know, I loved it all. It was a real adventure. It was a real adventure. It was fun. The story was great. The plot was great. Uh, I was laughing my butt off. It was funny. And there's just really nothing that I complained about guys i mean i love this movie across the board some of the cg at times could have been a little bit better but it's not anything that i would just gripe at for the most part i mean like this is easily something that i would love to own and watch it over and over and over again because i mean i just enjoyed it that much like real talk i, I really can't wait for this to come out on no and i was gonna say blue right now i'm getting this on 4k when it comes out because i i just really enjoyed it and i'm very surprised i had low expectations and you know my expectations were exceeded and flew through the roof if i was going to give this movie 8.5 but no i'm gonna do better than that if i want to rate jumanji welcome to oh no before i give my rating also there was this one thing that kind of didn't make you know this movie does kind of play tribute to uh robin williams you know rest in peace my brother we do miss you but something that didn't really make sense to me uh, I, I remember why I was going to give it an 8.5, but I'm still uh, I'm going to tell you in a second. But something that just didn't make sense to me is there was a character they met in this movie. Well, no, do I want to spoil it for you? No, I don't want to spoil it. But there was a character that was trapped in this game. And since this is a sequel, I was just kind of saying to myself, OK, 
This same character was in the original Jumanji movie and they made it out of the game. They escaped at the end. So I don't understand how they're still trapped in the game. But that's just really the only nitpick that I have. But still, guys, if I had to rate Jumanji out of a 1 out of 10. Well, no, if I had to rate Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle um, out of a 1 out of 10, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Yes, a 9 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up and if you don't that's fine also um yeah like i said subscribe to my channel go to my website check me out there bookmark it look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter all the good stuff is at the bottom of the screen and there's a link down in the description box below but guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for jumanji welcome to the jungle starring Dwayne the rock johnson kevin hart jack black and karen gill directed by Jay Kasdan and before you go don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion peace